Camp Facer. <laughs> What's going on, campers? Camp Faser here. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre the Game video. Your number one place on YouTube for all new content, news, and more on the game. Uh, if you're new here, please subscribe and let's get into today's video. Something a lot of people are, are talking about, mad about. Uh, not everybody, including myself. I can't see the big deal here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna explain why. We're we're gonna go over Gun Media's. Uh, price list they put out on Twitter for the game upcoming future uh, downloads that you can purchase and so on. And I, first off, let me just explain something here. I, I don't understand why Gun had to actually go and explain this to the crybabies out there because it's kind of ridiculous. It, it's like everybody's entitled these days to their opinion, and things are always too expensive. And what the problem is is everybody it. It boils down to what they know with competition from other companies out there. So another company is in competition with another company, so they try to compete with their prices, and it's always been stuck at that that boiling point where it fluctuates up and down in price. But let's say a cosmetic usually costs anywhere between four dollars and seven dollars, so it's been going up and down between that point. So Gun made their premium content for fifteen ninety nine. And everybody didn't realize, you know, it's not set to a certain price. That's just what they know from, from competition. It doesn't mean the next company has to follow that rule. If Gun wants to sell their, their content for like $500, then so be it. That's what it is. Whether you like it or not, that's what it is. Uh, would that be the acceptable price? Probably not five hundred dollars. But anyways, we're going to get into this this price chart here, and I'm going to go over the prices, and I'm going to show you guys what I think and how I feel and stuff. So, anyways, starting with premium content, this is for the Greg Nicotero Leatherface, you guys, right here. Um, Greg Nicotero worked on uh, Day of the Dead, Walking Dead, directed it. Uh, he's done hundreds and hundreds of makeup effect artists uh, for for all uh, old school horror movies and more. So this is uh, something special they've been working on for a year in the making, uh, coming up with ideas for the skin for the uh, Nicotero Leatherface and the saw and the sounds from the saw and so on and the kill pack. So. This one here is, I can see why it's $15.99, okay? It's more than just a cosmetic put into it. It's something special. And you get the kill pack. I don't know if there's just one kill or a couple kills. They didn't explain that really in the, in the last video. Uh, but it also comes with a special looking chainsaw. And the sounds that come out of that chainsaw are, are a lot different than the Poland 306A or 245A. Uh, so, being fifteen ninety nine, I have no problem with the Nicotero Leatherface. Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't mind if it was hundred and fifty dollars because if you guys think about this, the more it costs, the less people are gonna buy it, right? So, wouldn't that make it more unique and more special to the ones that did buy it? Kind of like the the Savini uh, Jason. The ones that were fortunate to be a Kickstarter backer and pay into that and get it, it was more special. Not everybody and their mother had it, so it was more. It was a lot more fun to play matches where kids would be like, "Oh no way, you got Fire Eye, Jason!" <laughs> so, anyways, I'm happy with the Nicotero uh, price. Uh, I could see that in future premium content like that being $15.99. I just wouldn't go any more than that. Uh, moving on to characters, victims, and family. This is the one you guys, everybody has been complaining about for different reasons. I'm going to get into that in a second. Now, for $9.99 for new characters, just start. We'll just say $9.99 for a new character, which means it's not just a skin. It comes along with like their abilities, their, certain we their, their unique weapon. Uh, their unique voices, voice lines, the way they move, and all that. So you're getting a full character, somebody new to the video game. For $9.99, that's pretty cheap. I, I, I'm definitely happy with that. I'll buy characters all day. Now, what people are complaining about, 
some content creators mentioned it too, is as a game goes right now, when you're in the lobby, you can only pick one person from the family and one player from the victims. And I understand that. It's just the way the game design is. You're not going to have like uh, three of the same characters running around the map, you know, and so on. So that being said, when you buy a character for nine ninety nine, chances are you're not going to get that character for the one out of like 10 matches you might get that character. So that's going to piss a lot of people off, okay? And I sh I'm sure Gunn has looked into this. But the the something you got I, I understand that it's, it must be frustrating especially like when you didn't pay for a character as it is right now the game and you want to play let's say Johnny and every time you load into a match somebody already chose the Johnny character you want to play as you might even like ask can you want to do a trade and then they deny it and then you get mad and then they'll leave and then what that does is it causes lobbies to be held hostage and you're waiting and waiting because no one wants to give up the character and blah 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 and people out there right now as it stands because of this price chart they're 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 thinking like oh man characters you have to buy them i thought characters were going to come with the game at free for everybody so everybody would get that character for updates well apparently not guns selling them for 9.99 and it is what it is if you don't like it go to another game that's what that's what they chose to do i i totally respect that I, I find nothing wrong with that at all. Maybe they need the extra money. Maybe you, know, you guys don't know the financial, uh, the, the money they have to pay for servers, their help, everybody that worked on the game, uh, publishers, everyone, investors, everyone. There's a lot more put into a video game than you, you would know or than you think you know. So I respect $9.99 for the characters to be sold. Now here's the thing, okay, I understand that people are gonna get mad if they can't get the $10 character that they paid for. But chances are you're gonna end up getting that character one out of like five matches, or maybe the worst case scenario, one out of 10 matches. But here's the thing that I thought of that you guys are not thinking of. This is the title of this video. What if Gun is making and this is just me assuming. What if Gun is making a ton of characters between victims and family? So you have all these different characters and family to choose from to purchase. So when you enter lobbies, it's going to be so mixed and matched, mixed up with different, I mean, not matched, but mixed up with different characters purchased or the ones from the original download. That, that your chances are you're going to get either the one character you paid for or the second character you paid for. What if you bought three characters? Chances are you're going to get that character. So I don't understand why people are so upset about that. You guys got to take a deep breath and think about that for a second. You guys are assuming it's one character every like three months or so. Like if it was something like that, then I would be like concerned. But maybe Gun is is adding more than just one maybe more than three or four or five at once so maybe you have multiple to choose from or buy them all so that's that moving on to executions executions are six dollars and 99 cents now i don't know if that's for one new execution or for like a kill pack but to me that doesn't seem too bad it is a little high for execution but you know it's really fun to see new executions and, and be, have a special uh, kill that not everybody has. So I don't know. $7 is a little steep for executions. I would have... See, see, you guys are all complaining about the nine ninety nine character, but I would be more concerned about making the executions for like maybe the same price as a cosmetic four ninety nine. But that's just me. I, it is what it is. Guns making it six ninety nine. I'm fine with it. That's just me saying, I, if, if it were me, I'd be more happy with uh, $4.99. Uh, so moving on to cosmetics. Moving on to cosmetics, we got $4.99. And this goes for all clothing and weapons. Whether you have new clothes, new color to the clothes, uh, uh, different outfits or weapons, uh, weapon uh, design, color. 
for four ninety nine. That's not too bad. And of course, last but not least, so moving on to free content, which includes maps and etc. Obviously, maps for everybody is free, and anything that comes along with that. So I don't know. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about this. Uh, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Are you guys happy with this price chart? Are you guys concerned that characters are going to cause a major issue? And again, like the reason why I brought this up is because what I see on social media and other content creators talking about it. And then there's a lot of fans within the content creators community crying about it and talking about it or getting pissed about it. And, there, and a lot of people are saying the game's going to they're going to kill their own game by this. God, you guys, come on. Do you really think they're going to kill the game because they made a character for $9.99 and just because you can't get the selected character within the lobby, it's going to kill the game? You think people are really going to back out of the game and, and take the game and throw it to the side and say, fuck gun media? No, they're not going to do that. They're going to keep playing the game. It's an addicting game. There's always something to work for. There's multiple things to work towards in this game. It's, it's a competition. It might not be a competition to everybody, but it is a competition. And obviously people get mad for everything in a video game, but th this is just one of them and it's not gonna kill the game. What kills a game is when the game has nothing special to play with, like to, to, to work towards, and there's noth nothing more to do and players are just leaving because it's a boring game. A game does not die because the developers decided to make characters that are new coming into the game $9.99. That doesn't kill a game. Stop listening to other people out there and riding that train. I'm so sick of this train that I see all these people, these fanboys on, acting like that, that you know, oh, this is what's going to kill the game because I heard from such and such. No, that does not kill a game, you guys. So I just wanted to speak my piece there and... Anyways, uh, again, I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments section below. Are you guys excited about this? Are you mad about it? I'm not going to argue with you. I just want to hear what you guys have to say. And that's it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, campers, stay out of the woods.